Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Tour Vivec with Mervis Cyrano, where we've gotten ourselves mixed up in some gladiatorial intrigue involving a poison gladiator, and decided to stick to it rather than just writing the whole thing off as a bad job, because one, we're getting paid if we find the evidence question. Two, well, why the hell not, essentially? Because this is part of Mervis's habits when sightseeing. Get himself mixed up in things he has none of his... Can we hurry he has no along? business being involved in. So from what we're getting off of people right now, what we need to do next to be able to pull this off is to find this battle master who has gone missing. It's apparently the word of some servant that he told her to poison, plant poison in this gladiator's stuff isn't enough. What do you want? But nobody has a damn clue where he is. I'm getting no information on that front. However, this whole mess of poison gladiator is just one of the several things that we're currently working on. If you're on. here for trouble, you'll get more than you bought because for. Because we're also here because Caius asked us to interview some informants about the Six House and Nerevering cults. And we're here because I want to join the Morag Tong, and I'm looking for where their leader is so I can join up. So far, we have found one half of the Join the Morag Tong puzzle. That being the blood of battle part of said puzzle. Because, just to remind you, we found this in a book in the Morag Tong headquarters in Balmora, saying that their Grand Master, who we have to seek out to join the group, is located between the Blood of Battle and the Waters of Life. Now. It doesn't take a genius to deduce that the arena is the blood of battle. Now, though, we need to figure out what the Waters of Life is referring to in order to be able to locate them. In the meantime, I'm just going to continue looking around here and seeing what's what. Because we're also here just to be a tourist, essentially. They're watching me. And this apparently is the Calvani part of Vivek. I'm guessing there's also a Hlali part. Seems like all the great houses get their own cantons, which kind of makes sense, given they are the major political factions in this area, so... They get that sort of thing, I suppose. And that's the in-character reason why I'm doing this. It's just that Mervis is really curious and decided to do the whole tourist thing while we were here for other purposes. That that whole reason. My personal reason as a player is just that I wanted an excuse to wander around and essentially discover the entire map and get everything visible to me so I know where it all is before it's really doing anything. So, 
that's my reason, and that's Smurf's reasons. Not all that dissimilar, to be honest, though the map thing is not part of his reasoning. Speaking of the Talvani, do you know, I still, still have not made up my mind, and for that matter, neither is Mervis, on which great house he wants to join up with, if he wants to join up with one, because as I've said before, back in that episode where I lost my shit with the Thieves Guild because of the amount of money I had to pay for stealing that hat in Alderoon. He's more into the quiet sort of power rather than being known as the most politically powerful and influential person around. He's not into that sort of thing, really. Which means that Rufus is go not away. entirely certain. Yeah. We can apparently make spells with this guy, and he sells them. Curious. As I was saying, Rufus is not entirely certain if he wants to get involved in Morwin politics, or just sort of stick with the more subtle and quiet power gathering methods like he's done in the past. We honestly have not decided yet, and yeah, this guy has no spells that are worth a damn to me. What a and it's just Why his do you neighbor. What spells have you got? He's going to be a douche about it and say that we can only get his spellmaking services if we are a member of House Telvani. That's another reason why Mervis is interested in get. That's one reason I should say that Mervis is interested in getting involved in Morwood politics though not a particularly attractive one, is that everything around these parts seems to be relatively factionalized, I guess you would say. Essentially, if you're not a member of a faction, there is Whatever you're basically, looking, I'm sure I don't know. There's basically nothing in if you're not a member of a faction, a lot of people aren't interested in associating with you. Is the sort of vibe that he has ended up getting thus far. And it's not an inaccurate one, from what I can tell. No, I don't think so. Okay. I'm not gonna stick around in there since they've got nothing. Yeah, because of how political and factionalized everything is, Mervis is seriously considering getting himself aligned with one of the great houses just because, well, it seems to him that being in a great house opens a lot more doors, so to speak, than not being in one and trying to go it alone. I could kill that girl. So, Giovanni Temple, eh? Don't really care about that. Yep. Yeah. Being in a in a great house just seems to him like it will open a lot more doors and lead to quite a few more opportunities than trying to not participate whole political system, essentially. There's more to it than that, but that's also the reason why Mervis is seriously considering 
if he wants to join up with the Imperial Cult or the Tribunal Temple. Because Murphus likes power, let's just say. He likes power and he wants to be a powerful and influential figure. If he can manage it. So. Okay, we have an error message. It's been a while since I've gotten one of those. So there's some missing mesh in here. Lovely. Just lovely. Healthier corpses. Get some healing attention. Okay. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, Urvis uh, likes power. He likes being powerful and influential. But the interesting thing is that he doesn't necessarily like people knowing that he's powerful and influential. That's the curious thing. Powerful. He doesn't necessarily like people knowing that he is watching. And that's the short version of it, at any rate. And as a result. Honestly, I haven't made up our minds as to where things are gonna go for us with the great house and uh, also religious faction choice. Because from an out of char out of character perspective, I can tell you that I am going to join a great house at some point. And I am going to join either the Temple or the Imperial Cult. I just haven't made up my mind yet. And... From a gamey pers... And it's kind of a struggle because... From a gameplay perspective... Due to one of the mods that I have installed... It would make a lot more sense... For me to... It'd make a lot more sense if I was to join up with the Tribunal Temple because of the fact that that will give me an excuse, I suppose is the best way to put it. It will give me an excuse to travel to Ghost Gate early on, and one of the mods I have installed has something interesting to do with Ghost Gate. I'm not going to reveal what, as I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, there's something going on with one of my mods in Ghost Gate, and I'd really like to be able to visit Ghost Gate, and joining the Tribunal would give me a good excuse to do that because of the fact that if you join the Tribunal Temple, the first task they give you is to go on a pilgrimage to all of their shrines. I think the pilgrimage to the Nine Divines that you do as part of the Night of the Nine DLC in Oblivion is just a lot more extensive, basically. That's the best way I can think to describe it. Anyways, the problem is, I don't know if 
that's the faction that Murphus would join. Would he want to join the temple? Because they're the they're one of the major political powers in uh, Morrowind and are basically uh, this game's version of the Vatican in medieval Europe. Or would he join the Imperial cult to try and spread that around? And because he was raised under the Nine Divines, and that's more familiar to him. I really do not know. So I'm kind of struggling to make up my mind on that one. On if Mervis would join the Divines of the Temple. I'm not sure. I mean, I think I may have mentioned this before, but... He's not a particularly religious fellow, but... What the hell? Okay, sorry about that. The game went and froze up on me. I'm not really sure what happened there, but... It just stopped responding, so I had to restart the damn thing. Anyways, we're still just kind of looking around and such, so we'll get back on with that, I guess. over in this general direction that I didn't look at before. And sure, there's a, there's a gondola or whatever that I can take around to speed this up, but for my first time exploring the Vex city on foot with Murdus, I want to do it manually, so to speak. And just walk it. I'll take the boat after I've explored the sea for myself. Okay, currently Ridley Lalu Canton. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, the game went and freeze crashed on me. I'm honestly not sure if Mervis would choose to align himself with temple because they hold all the major political religious power basically outside of the great houses and he really wants more power I'm not sure if that would lead him to align with the temple or if he would join the cult of the nine divines because of the fact he was raised in Cyrodiil and the nine divines would be more a more familiar religion to him than the Tribunal Temple would. I don't know. And from a gameplay perspective, what with some of my mods, it would make more sense for me to join up with the Tribunal Temple, because as I said, that gives me an excuse to visit Ghostscape earlier on, which I don't really have right now. And one of my mods has something going on in Ghostscape, and I really want to have an excuse to check out. So, joining the temple would give me a good way to do that, but I don't know if it's something Mervis would do is the problem. And what was this being a roleplay? That is rather on the important side. But, I suppose that's a problem, I guess you could say, for another day. For now, gotta go explore some more 
of the Lalu Canton. Because, yeah, speaking of great houses, I've already ruled out the Red Run, because the whole honorable warrior thing, you could not get more unappealing as far as Moses is concerned. You really, really could not. That's just the most boring and stilted form of a person out there, as far as he's concerned. It really is just the worst. So he has no interest in joining the vlog. He really does not. here a little and see what there is it's worth checking out probably not much but as I said doing our tourist things so can't not explore every nook and cranny that's just wrong well we can not explore every nook and cranny if there's an ordinator blocking our path but, we got around that problem. There we go. Just jumping around ordinators. I'm sure they're very impressed by us doing that. And it doesn't piss them off in the slightest. And, ooh -hoo, Do my eyes deceive me back there? I think I saw a Hlalu treasury. And given that the Hlalu are supposed to be the most imperial and mercantile of the factions, well, let's just say that I am very interested. What that treasury holds. Let's finish looking around up here first. Elven Nation's Corner Club. Huh. Could be interesting. Have a poke in there sometime, but I don't know, maybe not. going in the wrong direction. Let's not try and enter the treasury by going to the room that is opposite it.
just here to rob you blind, that's all. Your wounds are minor compared to what you will receive if you continue to bother me. Jeez, these people are bastards. They really are. Well, the vaults. Apparently they don't mind me being in here. Your wounds are minor compared to what you were retired in. houses in all of Vardenfell, they didn't have a whole lot of stuff in their treasury. Or, more likely, they did, it was just in a more secure room deeper inside. Far more likely, if you ask me, that that's the case. area. Okay. That was a bit random and out of nowhere, but alright. Alrighty. Canals, it seems. Interestingly enough. And I'm guessing that that over there is the temple district? Or possibly the palace district, or canton rather. Given that it has a giant fucking statue there, what looks like some sort of royal palace. At least, 
what I imagine a royal palace probably looks like. can't say is I've never been in any royal palaces. Well, that's a lie. I've been in the Imperial Palace back in the Imperial City a few times. And I have to get sensitive orders from His Majesty, but... It was such a long time ago, and those were some interesting circumstances, so I'm not sure whether it counts. Might well be it doesn't. Who am I to say? Great, model loading error message. To be fair, though, we've not encountered a lot of those, so I can overlook it pretty easily, given that those messages are few and far between at this moment in time, I think. And I don't know what it is, but there's something about this giant row of hanging lanterns that I find just quite nice to look at and incredibly, incredibly relaxing. I don't know what it is, it's just really nice, I think. Oh, there we have it. Go ahead. The yellow exclamation mark of doom. No idea what that's supposed to be. I don't think so. I'll have to look that up and see if I can't somehow get that one removed. Because that's kind of annoying. On that same note, I still haven't done anything about the one in that shop in Balmora. Mostly because that's a shop that I hardly ever visit, so it's just not worth the trouble of removing one error that I would see maybe once every 10 or 15 episodes at most. And given how often I visit that particular location. So, at the end of the day, it just ain't worth it. Abbey of St. Dylan the Wise. Huh. Let's just have a look in here just for the hell of it. What do you want? I think I know who it is. Aldrick is the name. He always whistles a tune or hums a little song. That's how I noticed him. Those are one of those dwellings voice north or south. I'm not sure which. I'm sorry. What the hell? I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what he is on about, I really don't. So, I'm going to do what I usually do when some random I idiot decides to babble nonsense at me and completely ignore it. Total ignoration. That's the best way to deal with this sort of thing. It really is. Apparently there are two routes off this canton, not just the one that I thought there was. Yeah, makes sense. This 
this is St. Orm's Canton, and it's the Vec Hall over there, so that will be the actual religious temple canton, I suppose. Probably we're actual fucking Vivek, Mr. I am a god, worship me, or I kill you, himself lives. So. That's what's going on over there. having explored the vast majority of Overland Vivek. Yeah, say what we, you will about Vivek. It is definitely one of the most expansive cities in the entire game. That much is for certain. And, in addition to that, I'm fairly certain that outside of dialogue, none of the mods I have installed have actually added anything major to the city of Vivek. Like I said, character dialogue and the like from less generic NPCs is the one major exception to that. Cantons. Then and only then shall we actually carry on. Wait. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Is that what I think it is? It is. It's a fucking asteroid floating above the city. Not gonna lie, that's kind of awesome. It's also a bit mental that Vivek thinks that that's a good idea. For various reasons. But it is still badass, I can't deny that. What have we here? An Inquisitor, or Ordinator, rather, the name. Go ahead. Hmm. Let's see here. Now, maybe you can help me. Well, you might be able to, actually. I'm looking for a Khajiit named Adiranir. Know anything? She'll be in the St. Alms somewhere. Okay, thank you for that. And yeah, if you don't recall, Adiranir was the name of the Thieves Guild contact that Caius sent us to meet to ask about this whole Nera of Green Sixth House thing. that though, I want to go look around here.
Hall of Justice. Okay, we have the Hall of Justice here, and right over there was the Hall of Wisdom. Interesting. Statue of Vivek and his giant fucking asteroid, whatever. Ministry of Truth. <laughs> so, if I was somehow able to get up to the Ministry of Truth, it's actually a building. That is cool. And yes. Statue of Vivek standing on whatever this thing is. Again, that's kind of badass. It really is. Yeah, I'm just kind of repeating myself at this stage. But. Man, oh man, this city is awesome. Shrine to stop the moon. Donate a potion of rising force. I don't have one, people. Shrine to stop the moon. That is the best. It really is. So down there, we have the actual temple district. But if you proceed past it up here, we have the very long walk up to the palace of His Majesty Vivek, the God Emperor of Morrowind. Oh, my bad, I'm sorry, I forgot this wasn't Warhammer 40k for a second. Perfection is generosity by filling the gentle waters of the palace with gold for the poor and destitute. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Is it possible the palace could be the waters of life? I'm talking about... If I can figure out how to phrase this... What I'm talking about when I mention the waters of life, just to remind anyone who's forgotten, I did bring it up earlier in the episode, that given how long my videos tend to be, you can be forgiven if you manage to forget that. Basically, I'm referring to the puzzle for finding the Grand Master of the Morag Tong, because we found a book referencing where you're supposed to locate him. And what it basically said was that he was found between the blood of battle and the waters of life. Now, I have already concluded that the blood of battle is the arena district. What I need to figure out now, if I intend, is what is the waters of life? Milo. I've never been able to figure that one out. Anyways, I need to speak to her over in the temple district. 
that one's going to be interesting, though, because we can't ask anyone about her, because Caius doesn't want us drawing attention to Keep the fact moving. that he knows her. But for now, let's just ask around about a deer in there. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Yeah, you know her? In St. Olm's somewhere, but he doesn't know. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. This is St. Holmes that we're in. Head on. My time is precious, so make it quick. But I suppose random people on the street wouldn't be like to know that. Let's have a look around and see if we can't find an inn or something. Or a corner club, as I guess that it would be in Morrowind. If Tanner's and Miner's Hall. Hmm. She may not be parading around in public. Ask around, perhaps someone else has seen her. Yes, hmm. Outlander. May what not do you want? be parading around in public. So, if she's not parading around in public, is there some trouble? Then that would indicate she's somewhere more subtle, less public. Sewers or the canals, maybe? Be my first guess. Go ahead. But we'll ask around a little. I just can't seem to remember. I get the picture. You need to be persuaded a little more. All right. I can do that. Oh yeah, 74. That's got to do it. Okay, I know a deer in there. And if I know a deer in there, I know she'll be staying out of sight as long as the sensei's and excise agent is lurking about. Probably down in the underworks. Look for trapdoors down from the canal works level. Okay. Canal works level. Look for trap doors. Okay. Yes. Find the canal works level, and then some trap doors to find no, a deer in there. So. Pretty sure that's going to be going outside again.
actually, I just thought of something. That I do check. That being the lower, lower level. So, down here, in other words. Canal works. Yep. Here we go. Now, we look for a trap door. Hello. and a deer and arrow over there. Time for some water walking, I think. Or to fail of water walking. That could also work. force to get out of the water because I am that shiny. Great, so Caius do you speak with the Dirinair and you have done this thing. You are speaking with the Dirinair, but a Dirinair will not talk to you about the Nerevarine or the Sixth House cult. And because why? Because a Dirinair is at this moment very distracted by a nice census and excise agent who also wants to speak with her. Is that right? You do not know this? They're the collectors of the Emperor's taxes in Paris. And the Emperor has outlawed trade in many things like Dwemer artifacts in Ebony and a census and excise agent will enjoy being a pest about such things for several reasons. Since as an excise agent, it's not a Dirinair's favorite person. You want a Dirinair to help you make the bad agent go away, and then she will tell you things. <laughs> all right, a Dirinair, get the picture. I help you, you help me, and all that. Works for me. Now, did you tell me where the census excise agent was? No, she did not. That's not remotely helpful. Here's a tip, Adirinair. If you want someone to help you, get rid of a person and tell, you, tell them where the person you want got rid of is. I'm waiting.
Yes, I know what census and excise agents are, Lady. I want to know where he is. Khajiit has no words for you. told me where the census and excise agent is. Which makes little things like getting rid of him a touch complicated, as I'm sure you'll agree. our favorite census and excise agent hanging out. That's what I need to know. Mr. Agent, if you're here for trouble, isn't somewhere visible. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. I'm looking for a friend of mine, a female Khajiit named Adirinir. Do you know where I can find her? A friend, you say? Hmm. Interesting. I don't think this guy was up here before, honestly. He might have been, I'm not sure, but I didn't see him when I was poking around before. It's a shame, because I would have liked to have been able to have gotten this over with before I went down to see Derenir. That would have been kind of nice. Oh well. Yes, her name is Adirinir and she is a Khajiit. Do you know where I can find her? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. She just took a gondola to the mainland. You... you just missed her. If you hurry, you might be able to catch her. What a disappointment, but thank you for your time. It's just heading back to the mainland myself anyway. And maybe I'll run into her there. That was easy enough. Very much so. Wrong area. Sarah? Uh, hey, you're in there. Get rid of your friend. So, are you the one that Darren must thank for getting rid of the annoying census and, ex census and excise agent? Indeed, a Darren is very glad to see you and very happy to tell a friend of my good friend Caius all about the Sixth House cult. And a Darren knows nothing about the Narrow Ring, but a Darren is happy to tell you that too. <laughs> oh, I love her. Ask away, friend. Okay then. You said you don't know anything about the Narrow Ring, right? Tell me anyways. Yes, Adirinir knows nothing about the Narrow Ring cult because it is just silly superstition. So you tell Caius this. Nobody in her right mind pays any attention to this nonsense. Prophecies in ancient heroes reborn and other silliness. Fuzzy tales for little kitties. Obviously Caius disagrees, but... You said that you did know something about the Sixth House cult. This Adirinir knows about because it is about smuggling. Some smart smugglers are suddenly too busy for their old clients, as they have a new employer in the sixth house, who pays very well. But what do they smuggle now? Adirinir doesn't know, because they are very secret. And this is odd, because these smugglers are always loud and bragging. Now they hush up like fat-bellied kitties full of sweetmeats.
Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Thank you very much. So. Despite not being a lot of the Nerevarine. So, we have a bunch of smugglers who are suddenly too busy for their old employers, but Make despite previously outline. being very loud and boastful, not at all inclined to talk about anything. And don't feel up to sharing what they're doing now. Yes, yes.